Okay guys, so I thought it was time to more to do more updated videos about the frickin' misconceptions of this ketogenic wave. So, uh, yeah, I want to go through some things. Again, these are videos that are sort of retouching on old subjects. But uh, clearly the first misconception is that you can do 70, 65-70% fat, um, 15 to 20, or sorry, 20 to 25 percent protein, or five, and people normally stick with the five percent carbohydrate. So, and then people will do their macros of, let's say, 70, 25 on their macros to a thousand calories. And there's not enough information to really fill in the gaps. You can't do a fat fast and do 70 percent of a thousand calories. That would put your macrograms, your fat macrograms, too low. So the whole concept is to flood the bloodstream with fat, right? So that you don't go into gluconeogenesis when your glycogen uh, storage is, hello, hello, Aziz, <laughs> um, when your glycogen storages are depleted. So the purpose is to deplete your glycogen storage, which is stored in your muscle, and force ketones to be made. Right, the breakdown of fatty acids into ketone bodies that can be used within the cells for energy for the brain. The problem is, is that your brain is too addicted to the glucose. And so we have the ability to make glucose without eating one drop of carbs at all. Done. Period. And we can do that in three minutes. And that's why when you do a ketogenic protocol, you want to keep your stress down because stress makes sugar. Gluconeogenesis make new sugar. So uh, when people have their fats too low and they're doing, let's say, 80 grams of fat or 70 grams of fat, which is more like, um, which will put you closer, 70, 80, 75 will put you in that 1,000 calorie range of pure fat, uh, in their mind they're like, well, I'm giving my body only fat and then I'm giving my digestive tract a break because I'm not eating protein. So the reality is when people kind of go on these fasting type of protocols, they might know, they might see good numbers in the beginning. And then, bam, three weeks, and it takes about three weeks, of having these fantastic, you know, low glucose, high ketone numbers, their glucose just rises and spikes exponentially, and they have no clue why. They have no clue as to why. Because they don't understand the metabolic process. So, uh, with the absence of carbohydrate, because you came from this high carb world, now your insulin is quite low. So you're having uh, less of a, a spike in glucose because your immediate response, often in many people, the immediate response is to make ketones right away. So ketones are really high and their glucose is pretty low because they're not eating any bread and any cereal or juice. They're eating no starchy carbs and they're keeping their carbs, let's say around 25 to 30 or 20, let's say 15 to 30 net carbs or 30 total carbs. And so all of a sudden they have these great numbers and they lose weight they lose uh, weight on the scale. So a lot of it's water, mostly water, fat, maybe a little, sorry, rewind. I'm getting ahead of myself in these videos. I've done so many of them. Uh, but uh, they lose a big chunk of water because their kidneys dump water because carbohydrates make you, make you hold on to water in the cells for every one gram of a carbohydrate you eat, your body holds on to 2.8 grams of water, which is only three, almost three grams of water, which is a lot of water. Dump it, lose a lot of weight on the scale, and um, which really puts stress on the entire body to be so low water, people become dehydrated, their electrolyte balance is whacked, and, but still they get good numbers in the beginning and then BAM, the numbers suck. And they go months and months and months with sucky numbers because people have this fear of fat. So the problem is uh, after the body like rebounds and goes, oh, oh, I see what you're doing. Well, I'm not ready yet to give up my glucose because everything that you do in a day can create glucose. People have this like misperceived idea that they did the exact same thing yesterday that they did today, but their numbers are different. The body is constantly in flux, and you are never the same as you were yesterday, ever. If you go to the gym one day and you have energy, and you go to the gym the next day and you have, you're tired and you don't understand why, there's a multitude of reasons. Poor sleep, your body's fighting off bacteria, virus, there's all types of things. You might be more gluconeogenic in a particular day without realizing it. 
it's all accumulative, right? You don't notice stuff until it appears. So these are some misconceptions as far as like people think that they can go on fat, they can go on fat fast or intermittent fasting to get um, into ketosis because ultimately it takes about a year to be highly keto adapted if you're super dis disciplined and depending on how much metabolic damage you've gone through. Now, can you make viable ketones and drop your glucose within a year? Totally. Can you do it within six weeks? Yeah. But these people tend to be metabolically sound. They're not deranged. They don't have adrenal insufficiency. They don't have pancreatic insufficiencies. They don't, they hit REM state cycles throughout the night. Their liver and kidneys are not toxin. Their colon is not inundated with uh, um, nasty bacteria like parasites and, and infections. I know, I know. So uh, these are things that people do not consider when they do a ketogenic protocol. So what you want to do is when people like, okay, first of all, when you drop your um, carbohydrates, uh, your body's like, okay, it starts making ketones. You don't even have to be a ketogenic person to be able to make ketones and use them. You can not eat for six hours and make ketones and like you pee on the urine strip and like, oh my God, I'm making ketosis. But the body doesn't know how to use the ketones, really. It doesn't know how, and, and you don't make viable ketones right away. And people can make ketones in the beginning, but they're not viable. See what I mean? There's a difference between making ketones and using them. A lot of people just use their ketone monitor, or they use breathalyzer, or they use their urine strips, when it's really all about the glucose. Because you can't have the two fuels compete in the bloodstream together. Your body can use a little bit of ketones, but it'll always defer to the glucose over the ketones. And so when people are looking at weight on a scale, it's subjective, right? They drop a lot of water because they're not stuffing themselves with carbohydrates that are making them hold almost three grams of water per gram of carb. Gram of carb. So you got to think that um, if you're having like 20 tablespoons or if you're having 50 grams of carbohydrate, imagine how much water you're holding on to which is why a lot of you guys get headaches when you drop water too quickly and you don't replenish. Or you're the person that drinks two gallons of water a day and you've trained your body to lose the ability to hold on to water. It's just coming out of you and so you're always dehydrated the more you drink water. So our bodies are these like finite balance of all these type of metabolic processes that we have to understand. All these enzymatic responses we have to understand. So there is no quick fix you have to do your due diligence and learn more about the human body in general we're all fracked up we're all messed up all of us in some varying degree so we got to get back to that homeostatic balance and you got to be like juggling balls like boop, 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 boop. Oh, 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 drop the ball grab it pick it back up and keep going so I, I say this in video after video after video and there's a purpose to it even though it's redundant to other people but I'm 48 going on 49 and in less than a year and a half, I'll be 50. And I like really understanding that 50 number because this is what 50 can look like all natural. And so many people are taking enhancements and exogenous things to get lean and to build muscle, especially as they get older. I don't know how many people I, I meet on HRTs. Women, your testosterone is low. Men, your testosterone is too low. Sex drives down the toilet. Depression, mood disorder, men are super estrogenic, so are women. As we get older, once you really start to see the signs of it in the 30s, and by the 40s, yo, it's a mess. Y'all are hot, hot, friggin' mess. So what do we do about it, right? That's the video series I keep talking about. What do you do, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? Well, if I keep telling you that, you know, these are the misconceptions that, you know, people go and do a ketogenic protocol, oh, I'm in ketosis, you're not. It's a process that you have to be patient about and work your way slowly. You should get a glucometer, Measure glucose daily, fasted in the morning, under 4.4 or 80 milligrams per deciliter. Done! Type 1s, they don't really keto adapt. Type 1 diabetics, FYI, they get into keto, get ketogenic range, right? They use ketones. And if uh, um, a type 1 can get their glucose in the early 80s, be happy for that because you started at 400, FYI. So the misconception is that type 1s can't do a ketogenic protocol and actually sort of be in a semi-ketogenic state. That is not true. You can and you can heal your body exponentially doing ketogenic pro protocol. Now another misconception is that keto doesn't work for everyone. Keto works for everyone because the biology just proves that. We all make ketones, we can all use ketones, that's just science. 
it's the people who cannot get their body and their lives and their mind right to be able to use those viable ketones. That's the problem. There's a lot of things that you have to do. So one of the last consultations I did, well, yesterday was a woman saying, I don't like this, I don't like that. I watched TV in bed for two hours. I don't like avocado, I don't like olives, I don't like, you know, fatty meats. And I'm like, well, that's not ketogenic. So in that context and in only that context would keto not be for her because she's not willing to do whatever it takes to be patient, to eat the right foods and the right ratios and do the right, uh, have the right sleep hygiene. And then you have the people who've got like Hashimoto's or they have hypothyroidism. And then as soon as they do a ketogenic protocol, their hair falls out because they don't do enough due diligence to research how to baby step their way into the first stage of trying their keto adaptation, which is to graduate your carbs down slowly. These are concepts that are misconceptions. A misconception that you're going to get ripped right away. You won't because it takes time for your body to make the enzymes, to break down fatty acids, to convert into ketone bodies to go through the whole system. And for those who create ketones right away, then your adrenals are like, whoop, 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 I'm not in ketosis. So now that I understand what you're doing, I'm going to start to jack your glucose up and I'm just going to start to make adrenal issues and pancreatic issues and then you're going to crash that you never crashed before. You might start developing physiological insulin resistance. All of a sudden your glucose just gets super high and you can't get it low. It's a process, guys, and we all have to learn about it. So this is just a really quick video about the misconceptions of a ketogenic reality. And um, I just want to keep talking about it, keep having the conversation, understand that your guts are, guts are inflamed, your liver, kidney, gallbladder don't process foods or uh, toxins very well. Well, the gallbladder is for the fat and uh, the liver, kidneys for toxins. And uh, we don't understand how we're overloaded. So if the liver is overloaded, the kidneys are overloaded, the guts are overloaded, and the gallbladder is overloaded, it's all low, stomach acid's low. It's a mess, and a lot of you guys have this issue. And we're looking at weight loss subjectively. We're like, we just see stuff online, you know, take this, 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 da da da, or this crazy exercise thing, and voila, you know, you're in this fantabulosity of, of the boom, you know, the business. And life does not work that way. This is not epigenetics. I mean, this is epigenetics. I always say things backwards. This is not genetics. This is epigenetics. It took a lot of work, time, and consorted, consorted conscious, uh, strategic discipline to keep my body optimal at nearly the age of 50 with a busted knee from being a pro skateboarder. Now, yes, pro skateboarder. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about the misconceptions and how to actually really do keto the right way, I've done 5,000 videos, and I will continue to do them, even though some of the information may be redundant, I'm able to kind of like narrow down right into the scope of what you need to know. So sleep hygiene, uh, detoxification, methylation, uh, getting your stress in order, and getting your macros on point correct, and get rid of the cheese, get rid of the nuts, get rid of the caffeine, anything that might be a possible allergen to the body, because we're all messed up. Don't believe me? Walk down the street, go into the supermarket, Go to a friggin' um, uh, airport and watch people look unhealthy. Look at people in the fitness industry that are like having thyroid issues and having reproductive system issues and men you have a drop in testosterone. Don't just judge a book by the outside. And if you are, you better get a microscope and look real close at people. Because when you look real close, you can see things. All right. I'm going to South Africa in a week, guys. I can't wait. Excited, 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 excited. I got some energy. I'm going to be posting through the whole trip. It's going to ground me. I'm going to get my feet in the freaking dirt. My life is good. Uh, yeah. And um, I am going to uh, post on my Facebook. Uh, keep posting through the whole experience on my Instagram. So if you want to go to my Facebook and learn more about the body, you can go to Stephanie, the business person on my Facebook fan page, Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagramming Periscopes. I will do live broadcasts and talk to you guys at Steph the Business. Steph, Steph, as in Stephanie, Steph the Business on Periscope. Download the app onto your smart device. Or uh, you can go to my website, which I'm not doing consultations because I'll be on. A, like a business last vacation, but when I come back in May, you can book or uh, what else? 
I know there's more. Um, yeah, anyway, 